How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up multiple audio tracks on OBS Studio. This when I needed to learn about it was like it was impossible to find out. I really struggled to find how to do it but it's really simple if you know how. Just follow these steps. You only have to do it once and it should all be good. So I've turned off my face cam just so it doesn't get in the way but uh, basically this is OBS and if you want to set up multiple different tracks then you want to go into your settings output and then go into recording and then there you have your different tracks which ones you want to record uh you know the more you have ticked the more that you record so one two and three if you had three ticked then you would be recording three tracks if you had two ticked you'd be recording two tracks you, yeah you get the picture and obviously this is how you set up your audio devices you just choose your speakers that you're using and your desk and your microphone but the issue with this is if you want to record, this is fine for single player games because if you want to record your voice and the games in separate tracks, that's fine. That'll work. Just tick one and two and then go into your mixer and then put your desktop audio as ticked as one and then your mic audio ticked as two or the other way around. Put your mic audio as one or your desktop audio as two. However, if you want to record speech from your friends, game audio and your voice separately, you need to go to a one, one or two more steps so that they're all separated. Then that way, in editing, you can turn off the team speak so that, you can, so that in the video you can't hear your team or something like that. It just opens up more possibilities for editing. Now, for this to work, you will want to download voice meter and the virtual audio cable from the same website. It's just a tab clip away. I will put the links to this in the description. You just want to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click the install button on the voice meter one. Or if you want to do it zip, you can do the zip one. And then once you've downloaded that, go to virtual audio cable and, you know, click download on that as well. And I think this is a zip, so you're going to need to unzip this one. And if you don't know how to unzip something, download a program called WinRAR. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Now, once those are downloaded, you're going to want to run them both as administrator um, when you install them, because otherwise I don't think it will let you install them. So run them as administrator and then install them. And then once they're all installed, restart your computer. Now, once your computer is restarted and everything, you should now have voice meter on your desktop either find it in this or just you know find it wherever you put it and this should be what it looks like now what you want to do is go down to the bottom right corner of your screen and right click on the little speaker click playback devices and set voice meter as default device i've already got that set so set voice meter as your default device and this might look a bit confusing but it's really simple i don't understand how it works either i just follow <laughs> i just followed another video to get this set up so you only need to do this once so it's not a big deal so first you leave this blank just leave this alone don't need to do anything with this the second one you want to set mme as cable output vbu audio virtual cable which is the other thing you installed. We'll get to that in a second. The third should be default. It should or you shouldn't be able to press anything on this, but just make sure A is highlighted, not B. And in the final one, under A1, click WDM and like your speakers or your headset, whatever you hear your, your game sound from. I've had to use MME because for some reason WDM did not work for my wireless headset. So I've changed it to MME. So if you have any issues with this, Change to MME, I haven't experienced any issues with MME, so. Well done, you should have this now all set up. That should be it, like nothing else should be fiddled with this. The only thing you do wanna do is click on is click on menus and save settings. And I have it to run a startup. It's your choice if you wanna keep this going all the time. I personally do, it's just easier. So I, I would suggest just clicking system tray and run at startup. So now you just wanna close out of that. Okay, so now you wanna bring up Skype or whatever your, uh, your current, um, like chat is, you know, if you're using Skype or TeamSpeak or something like that. Uh, in Skype, you go to Cool Audio Settings and you change your speakers to VB Audio Virtual Cable. So, and if you're not using Skype, uh, don't worry, it, all things should have a, a, like a, a speakers section. So go, just go into the settings on whatever you use, click on it, should say speakers or outputs. 
um, volume or something like that and it should have a little option so just change it to the VB or do virtual cable whatever it is so now you want to go back into your settings in OBS and click on recording and you want to do audio tracks one two and three I'm not recording my mic at the minute so I've just got two and three but you want to do one two and three and then once you've ticked these three hit apply go to audio set desktop audio devices voice meter input and the desktop audio device 2 as VB audio virtual cable and then your mic is whatever you use. Hit apply on that and then you want to, the final stage is to go into the mixer and set your mic as track 1, unclick all these, all these will be ticked by default but just click 1 on your mic, 2 on your desktop audio 2 and three on your desktop audio and unclick all the others because these are the tracks here. so when you go into uh, your editing software it will come up and your mic will be number one and then this is your Skype the number two so that will be your your like Skype chat or whatever and this will be your your game audio or if, if you want to fiddle with that if you want to make desktop audio number two then you can but you, just to keep this simple I would suggest just doing the same as me, just do this little diagonal line of ticks. And you should be set up. That is how I have it set up. I don't have an issue with it. It's free. The only other option, well, there's probably other free options. I don't know about them, but the only other option I know of is to buy a volume mixer, um, which is like £100 or whatever they're called. I can't remember what they're called. But this is what I use. I've not had many issues with it at all. I had some issues on my laptop with voice meter, like the audio would go a bit crackly, so I had I would have to restart voice meter every now and again, but barring that, it was all right. So I hope that helped. If you have any issues, then leave a comment, um, and I'll get back to you. And yeah, guys, I hope this helps. Um, like I say, have any issues, let me know, and I'll try and sort it out for you. But that's it for me, guys. If you enjoy my content on a regular basis, please bit that subscribe button. If you want to contact me on Facebook or Twitter, then the links are in the description, and I'll see you in the next. Bye.